Hi! You are caught in bed with Kia. Um, I never do uh, videos from my bedroom, but um, my family is watching wrestling. Can't stand it, and I can hear it from my office, but I can't hear it from my, my bedroom. So I want to do a quick video. Um, I wasn't really going to make any more comments about the whole situation with the Queen's Court, but I wanted to make another video only because... Um, some people are saying that they're they're unbiased and that their opinion is completely neutral when clearly it, it, it's not. No one is given a neutral opinion about anything. Um, and also, I wanted to give my opinion as someone who works in advertising and marketing. I said this before in my other videos. This is what I do for a living. Um, brands come to me to evaluate what they should do, how much money they should spend, and where they should be. So I kind of have a different perspective on this um, as far as advertising-wise. So uh, the Queen's Court situation has blown up even bigger than it was. I, I personally thought it had died. Like they, uh, Kaya and, and TS Madison went to their DC performance and performed. And I it was like, okay, cool. They're, they're performing, they're moving forward. The, the show's going to come back on. Everything is going to be all happy and dandy in the black vlogger space. Um, but that is not at all what at all what happened. Um, Kaya, took to her video platform to, um, to her live to basically just kind of go in about everything that's happened and the performance. And, you know, I guess there was some, something that happened with the money being missing and her not getting paid on time, which by the way, that's very, that's extremely tacky. If an artist is coming to perform, promoters need to pay them on time. Um, whenever I work with a promoter for a client, I'm always the first to say like, you need to pay me for this person, at least 50% of it two days in advance i need to have the, the this this uh, deposit and then before i even allow them to get out the car <laughs> you need to have the rest of this money so i, I get where kaya's coming from from that she also you know kind of brought up you know funky dineva once again and she also brought up the situation with t.s madison how t.s madison doesn't own the queen's court she is the queen's court and it, it, it basically just got messy all over again how she felt she was lied to and betrayed and it, it was it was a lot and i feel like kaya is feeling really kind of disrespectful respected and she does have a right to feel that way i mean it, it's it's it is you know her right to feel disrespected you know that's why working with friends or business partners is it's a really hard thing to do especially in this day and age um especially when it comes to a video platform um there are no guarantees with money there are no guarantees with with sponsors it's it's youtube it's video so it, it's it can be a little dicey um so she did her video her video is about an hour long then t.s madison responded feeling disrespected she, she came out with um her video basically saying you know i made sure you got paid i was making sure that these things got trademarked on the business side i was trying to make sure the business side got handled i'm not sure why you're upset with me i was just trying to make sure we were going to, on the business side i can also see ts madison's opinion about it um if you're going to have something on a platform like i said like youtube where the money isn't always guaranteed it's based off of views and ad sales um you have to have certain things in place to make sure that if we are going off to an unsure platform that we can have other avenues of revenue coming in so i will go into that in a second because again this is something else that i've dealt with other clients um uh she makes her video um and then other people start commenting about it um you know uh, michelle brown from at alien who am i who i very much respect because she took blogging as far as you know in the black community community her and nicole bitchy took it to a whole nother level which is fantastic um and she made her comments but to me and this is no offense to michelle brown just seen it seemed it seemed biased so i wanted to kind of give my marketing and advertising expertise because i do work with large brands i'm not going to say those brands because i do not want to get in trouble my job means the world to me it's how i put food on the table um so i just wanted to give my opinion about the whole how the marketing strategy goes and also you know partnering with people um number one partnering with people and this is this this whole this whole situation with ts madison kai is not a new situation with, with vloggers there's been a lot of people who haven't gotten paperwork done in for at first and then it's gone to this kind of descent of just bad mouthing and a breakup and it should never be like that so for anyone who's going to be in a partnership with anybody whether it's vlogging blogging, uh, a business, entrepreneurs, speaking engagement, entertainment, anything, there needs to be a contract done in place. I recommend anybody, it's almost, it's almost like a prenuptial agreement. And in all these agreements, uh, I would absolutely recommend that as a non-disclosure agreement, meaning that if something does go awry, neither party can go online and blast each other because it, it kills any 
opportunity for reconciliation and also kills the good work that the two people had would have done previously because now all the stuff that the queen's court in my opinion that had done previously it's kind of tainted now because the relationship went so bad and both people are now talking bad about each other online if neither party would have said anything if that non-disclosure agreement would have been in place or a partnership would have been in place i don't feel like this would have ever happened so that's just that, that's a, that's a really key tip um kaya Kaya has been blogging for a long time. Um, Kaya is, like I said, Tampa St. Pete chick. I, I've met her before. She probably doesn't even remember. This was a long time ago. I was one of those girls who would, because she's older than me slightly. I snuck into the club when she was performing, and that's how I, I got to meet her. And she's she's a very interesting character. She's a character, but she she's good at what she does. She draws people in, and, and that's cool. So she is she has been blogging for a long time time i remember the word couch videos remember someone saying have you seen that kaya's got a channel and kaya doing videos i said no i didn't know kaya was doing videos and at the time i wasn't a big youtube watching videos person so it didn't matter to me anyway but i was like all right that's cool and people would send me little clips and say oh kaya ain't here going off about something and i was like all right cool i mean that's how she wants to get her voice out and, and that's cool so she's been doing she's right she's been doing this for a long time kaya is known for this. Kai has always been going off on people. She's never been one to bite her tongue. She's never been one to hold back her opinion. So this is this whole thing with the Queen's Court is not new to her. Um, she did have a show and had Queen in the name, but it was never really trademarked. Um, so that was all. That was always interesting to me. I mean, anybody, if you're going to start your own thing, trademark the name. Even if you have no intention of ever using it, just trademark it. Just, just trademark it now. Just, just do what you need to do. Trademark it. Spend the money. It, you know, so you don't have this down the line. Anyway, I digress. Um, T. S. Madison. A lot of people, you know, some people have said that T. S. Madison wasn't well known. I knew who T. S. Madison was beforehand, and I'm, I'm a straight African American woman. Um, I, but I, I knew who she was because she had had a deal with Wonderworks to do a couple of things. She was, um, had some show where people would get in the car with her and she would drive them around as an Uber driver. She's also done a couple of projects with the Logo Network and she's had a project with, with RuPaul. So I knew who she was. I've always known she was transgender. That was not a secret. That wasn't new to me. I feel like everybody knew she was trans and, and no, there's nothing wrong with that. Being trans is, is it's being trans is beautiful. It's fine. Um, the one thing I didn't know about T.S. Madison that I found out later on was that she had, I think it was called Raw Dog Entertainment, the porn, a porn network. So that was kind of an interesting thing to me to find out that she had been, had, had been running this whole, like, basically a porn empire and that's how she she made her money so so that was interesting but T.S. Madison was well was known and she was also had her she, she had her own thing going on when these two linked up it was lightning in a bottle no one can say that it wasn't lightning in a bottle neither one of these girls I feel women excuse me not girls women can exist without each other as far as it being a creative show that draws people in week after week and they just don't I don't think either one of them is more famous or more drawing than the, than the other so let's get into their partnership. So Kai in her video was basically saying that she is the Queen's Court. And I guess T.S. Madison in previous videos has said she is the Queen's Court. So these are two separate issues. Kai is the Queen's Court because she's the one who started it. It was the Queen something that she had. So she is the Queen Court, Queen's Court. T.S. Madison also said the same thing in a previous video, but she was more saying in response to people who were trying to buy the name. We all know that Justin Jay, who's also a vlogger, had a video out where he said that he was going to buy the Queen's Court URL. And that to me is already, is it's kind of grimy, but people do it all the time. People, It happens more often to, than not. Again, I could say another brand, a large brand who bought somebody else's trademark and then had these people buy it back to them for almost $250,000. This happens often. So to avoid that, you know, T.S. Madison went to Kaya and said, yo, I don't want anybody to, to buy it. Like, we're doing this together. I'm worried someone's going to buy it and then we got to buy it back and deal with all this drama and get lawyers involved and blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to go ahead and take care of it. And Kaya probably didn't really care. Not mean that Kaya didn't want it, but mean that Kaya was like, oh, well, that's what you want to do. That's cool. That's, it's not that big of a deal to me. I mean, it, and Kaya's mind's probably like, these niggas, ain't sh these niggas ain't shit. Like, why Why would I care? Why would you put your effort into dealing with it? Because they're not that ballsy enough to do it. And I can see both sides of that. So 
T.S. Madison um, bought the bought the name for whatever amount of money that she bought it for. She kind of secured the business side, which makes sense. And also, but in Kaya's mind, I can also understand, like I keep saying, that these raggedy vloggers they ain't shit. They're not gonna do anything like that. Like fuck them. Who cares? So you know, but the blind buying the trademark thing it does happen. And T.S. Madison was smart for doing that. That absolutely makes sense. So the bad mouthing of each other's friends. Kai is wrong, but Maddie's also wrong too. Maddie should have never gotten her friends involved. Funky Daniva should have never known background story. I, and again, I'm all, I enjoy Funky Daniva as well, but Funky Daniva should have never known the background story to um, what was going on. Again, the point of having non-disclosure agreements. You can't go to your friend and complain. A friend who's also a blogger, you're basically giving him background information on your on your show, and then he goes and does a video using it. Of course, Kaya defended herself because you have another person who, where these two people already don't get along, is now making a third, making a comment about it. Of course, you're gonna want to defend yourself. You know, Funky Dunny should have never, ever, ever made a comment. He should just been quiet and stayed out of it, and she should have never told him anything. Um, you know, I also think that this is another part. Michelle Brown also shouldn't be involved because Michelle Brown also has, and it has a situation with Funky Dineva. They have had issues for a while and it's gone back. So we have all these people who are too close to the situation to effectively see that this isn't working out, but that all four parties are wrong. You know, yes, Michelle Brown and Funky Dineva are far removed, but everybody in the situation is, is wrong. But they're also right in a certain in a certain way. Funky doesn't even want to protect his friend. I get it. Kai is not going to let you talk to her any kind of way. T.S. Madison just wants to be on the business side and doesn't understand why everybody doesn't understand her business side. And Michelle Brown just wants to say, you know, Funky Dineva can be a snake. Kaya is more entertaining. And, you know, it does seem like T.S. Madison was kind of, you know, not being as fair to Kaya as she probably should have been. So now the advice with marketing and advertising. When they first started the show, T.S. Madison and Kaya were about the same level as loudness and just saying whatever they want to say. Brands look at that. As a brand manager, when we pick out or evaluate who's going to be spokespeople, we look at everything, everything. It doesn't matter. I, they, we go back in people's Twitter pages, Facebook pages, everything, because we want to make sure that if we have you representing our product or the product for the company, that nothing comes back and bites us in the ass. Every, every, and a lot of brands have had this happen. They haven't gone back far, far enough, found out something in the past, and you know, it's come out. It's been a massive issue, and they've had to backtrack or, or fire that person, which causes more problem for the band brand. One, they have to buy that person's contract. If they do fire them, a lot of people don't know that. Um, especially if they don't have a morals clause in there. And then two, you have to hire a brand new person, which is more money you're dishing out. You also have to deal with negative press and publicity, especially in the age of social media. So it's it's a headache. It's a pain in the butt. So that's why at the beginning, you know, you see T.S. Madison loud and kind of just saying whatever. And then she slowly turns into this more good cop to the bad cop of Kaya. Kaya's never really adjusted and Kaya's never felt like she had to. And she kind of doesn't. If Kaya, Kaya's living her life how she wants to live it, and can't nobody fault her for that. That is her business. That's what she wants to do. T.S. Madison wants to kind of get bigger. She wants to move away from being known for certain things and be known as the, you know, a, a talk show host entertainer, which is, it's, it's, it's fine. But because T.S. Madison kind of tapered her personality and Kaya stayed up here, it, it it's hard to see these two getting a sponsorship and T.S. Madison really seems like she was working towards getting them a spot like bigger sponsors getting them on on TV getting them with more people and of course she showed the the emails with the opportunities that they've had or had taken away um I didn't get where she was going with the Monique thing and the Will Packer thing I'm assuming she was saying that it was a big deal because Will Packer turned it down because Monique was coming on the show I didn't get that but I think it is interesting that you know she was doing the Nicki Minaj thing and then that kind of fell through, which deals fall through all the time for one reason or another. Um, so, but that's why you know, the, the personalities were the same and they kind of changed. And I understand that. I don't feel like Kaya should have to change her personality if she doesn't want to. People like Kaya the exact same way that she is. Kaya is loud. Kaya cusses, says what she wants to say, does what she wants to do. And that works for her. And she should not have to change for nobody. 
Um, T.S. Madison wants to be an entertainer on a more mainstream level. Nobody can fault her for that either. But I feel like the real reason why all this devolved, and again, with getting contracts in the beginning of situations, I feel like they both started moving in different directions. Kaya wants to be her, stay where things are, make their little money, have a good time, not have nobody control their stuff. And T.S. Madison wants to be more mainstream and move everything towards the network. Neither person is wrong. Neither person is wrong. So, another part with the, the whole marketing advertising side. There's no coming back from this. That's the sad part about this whole beef between T.S. Madison and Kaya. There's no coming back from this. Nobody is going to want to take the Queen's brand, Queen's Court brand now because it has been tainted with all this drama and craziness. The internet is forever. These videos are now online forever with both of them not so much trashing each other but saying not very nice things about each other. If, I, if, if, if a client came to me one of the liquor brands that I have worked with comes to me and said, well, we really want to work with, you know, so-and-so. It would be my job to say, that's great. That person has a following. It'll bring eyes to your brand. But look at this, this, and this, and this, and this. Is this something you really want to drag into your brand? Is this something you really want people posting about in your comment section? Do you really want people to be hashtagging? I really want to say the brand, but I'm not going to because, again, I don't want to get in trouble. Do you really want people hashtagging this liquor brand, but remember when they was fighting and remember this and T.S. Madison that and, and Kaya this? No, no brand wants that. No brand should have to deal with that. And that's kind of where the Queen's Court is right now. Um, I'm, I, I posted a video previously saying that I kind of wanted everybody to just stop and, and think about things before they post. And to stop the drama and stop the going after each other because people, people, all four people involved in this that have kind of made it a bigger deal are extremely lucky. AT Allen has worked hard for where she is and, and Funky Dineva has as well. But every, these people have the opportunity to not have to go to a nine to five. Like I record videos, like I keep saying for fun, but I still have to go into an office, a corporate office Monday to Friday if I'm not working from home and answer to somebody. I don't have that opportunity to, to stay home. And I wish these people realize how blessed they are. And and just, I'm getting tongue tied because I don't know what to say. Instead of going so hard in the paint, take a step back and go, I'm going to make my comments and I'm just going to leave it at that. AT Alien does a great, Michelle Brown does a great job at that. You know, a lot, most of the time. Fuck you, even not so much. But that's what people love her. Kaya, never. And that's what people love her. T.S. Excuse me. T.S. Madison does as well. Um, she kind of holds back a little bit, but. This situation just got got really it got really messy. So for anybody who's trying to be a vlogger, if you're gonna partner with even if you're gonna be a vlogger, step one, trademark your name. Number two, ooh, monetize your channel if you can, if you if you meet YouTube's guys guidelines. Number three, buy all of your URLs, even the different variations of a URL on dot com, on dot com, uh dot net, ww two, like buy all of those URLs, no matter how much they cost, it's definitely worth to have. And if you're going to partner with someone, make sure there's a contract in place, specifically with either a morals clause or a non-disclosure agreement, agreement with a financial penalty. Uh, that will stop a lot of the drama. And one last thing, this this isn't a black blogger thing. There, uh, white bloggers deal with this even worse. I mean, there was a massive issue. I don't know if a lot of my followers would know this, but two makeup artists... Uh, uh, Kat Von D, who's also the tattoo artist, and Jeffree Star, who's a big uh, makeup YouTuber... They had a huge falling out and they did the same thing that T.S. Madison and Kai are doing, going after each other in videos. And it killed both of it kind of took both of their brands down because their sponsors were saying, yo, we don't want to deal with the crap. We will not deal with the crap. So either you two stop or we'll 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 take funds away. And it, it's not good to have that happen. So always have these contracts in place. Always be aware of if you're going to make things bigger, that there's going to be more requirements and people are going to expect more from you. So that's just my marketing two cents. A lot of people are going to comment and say, shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about this and that. And that's fine if you want to say that. I'm just coming in as someone who when these people get a certain level, I'm the person that gets called in to evaluate a brand. I'm the person who gets called in to do the digital advertising for that brand and make it work. I'm the one who gets called in to work with the person they're sponsoring to get creative together and then put it online. So I kind of know what I'm talking about. So that's it. I am actually going to go and spend time with my husband. We are going to catch up on Gianni Versace because we're, we're a little late on that series. But it was great sharing my thoughts. And I will talk to you all another time. Bye.